so update video there's so many things that have happened here at the house that we haven't talked about yet so we're just going to kind of do a quick catch up and we'll try to throw in some little video clips to kind of show we did video some of the things that we we were doing um we got these drawers put in the breakers beds so made the drawers installed them ourselves uh, discovered this process and i don't like drawers not my favorite thing but we did it uh, we still got to put down some uh, decking here for not just to sit on. As you can see, spray foam has been installed. Uh, that, that's actually one of the most recent things. And of course, before you can do spray foam, uh, you've got to do this. So electrical is done, uh, plumbing is done, water lines are run, drain plumbing is done. So, we got a lot done regarding all of that. Uh, another thing that we got done up here is uh, replace the, uh, the decking on the catwalk. This is what we call the catwalk. Uh, this particular area was in the weather for several years without, before we got the roof on it. And so, I goofed up, as I mentioned in one of the earlier videos, and I put all the seams on the same floor truss and because of that all of the plywood started to kind of release the glue release the kind of gave these little skateboard ramps on the seams. So I did it right this time, see staggered and uh, stuff and I got that knocked out. Actually in a day uh, it wasn't near as bad as the first time we did it. Because <laughs> we got a roof over it. So and stairs. And it's stairs. Yes, we have <laughs> the stairs. first time we had to hoist them up. <laughs> yeah, the first time when we did the uh, deck to this. Oh yeah, that was brutal. So one of the first things that we did, um, whenever the, the craziness began, we had some extra time, was uh, we went ahead and finished the porch, the ceiling and everything. Um, it's got one coat of primer, one coat of paint on it. Step is called all the seeds, so we have to go back and do another coat of paint. So um, that was this is kind of an ordeal finishing up this porch. Uh, thanks to the miracles of caulk, it's uh, it's going to look good. Uh, we do have one piece here. We have finished putting up yet. It's kind of a wide trim board. Obviously, the house is siding. Uh, we finished the siding. Uh, Hey, the trim board you painted. Uh, it's got caulk around it, so we have to go back and take those up as well. But, yeah, that's so, uh, the side of the house is done. But uh, every board is caulked and sealed, um, and it's good to go. Now, Steph's been working on a project that's uh, been really cool. This is some bad examples. You can see all these boards here. We actually took a half inch plywood and we cut them into six inch wide, basically six inch wide strips and she's working on making her own So let's go take a piece of fish and she's finished Okay, so as he was saying, we took the plywood sheets and we cut them down into six inch um, pieces and so plywood looks like this. It has like kind of zebra pattern and what we're trying to do is not have that show. We want it to look like old rustic wood. So when I was sanding it, I kind of rounded out the edges and then wherever there were, you know, flaws in the wood, I enhanced them. So I went in and dug in with the sander and made them more visible. So anywhere there was a boo-boo, I just made it even bigger on purpose. <laughs> and so you can kind of see a few more to look at. like. You know how plywood sometimes has a kind of little sticky has um, cracks in it, and whenever there was a crack, I even made it went in with a Dremel and made it even bigger and more obvious to you. Like here's the one that has a whole bunch of different cracks in it. There you go. Where so did you get that green? What would green look on that zebra pattern? I'm using a conditioner first, a wood conditioner, so that um, the gel stain will kind of go on evenly. 
And then when I put the gel stain on, I'm using a, like a cheap brush, a real cheap brush, and I'm brushing it on and I'm not wiping it back off. So that all those streaks you see, that's what's making it look like the wood print. And so I'm doing, I'm doing 25 boards at a time. 25 boards takes me about four or five days to do because I have to do a day of sanding and a day of conditioning and and staining and then a day of the polyurethane on the tops and then a day of polyurethane on the bottom. So it's very time consuming. I've been working for several weeks and I've got 125 boards so far. And we've got 300 more to do probably. Yeah, and I'll pick quite that many. <laughs> But, so this is two two coats of the cherry wood gel stain and then two coats of polyurethane and then one coat of a cheaper polyurethane on the bottoms just so that if we do have you know a spill or something that it'll kind of protect it from soaking in uh, another thing out here is you can see all the boxes <laughs> yeah let's give them a tour this is a new <laughs> shipping container this is a second shipping container that we got uh 40 footer and it's a whole nother video coming on that but, <laughs> but yeah you can see we, we got some, some tools finally got all of our tools kind of all centrally located but there's ceiling fans there's lights um fan more lights tile uh electric fireplace um there's a sink back there <laughs> <laughs> the hoods back there. And this is what we're doing now. This is our first piece of sheetrock up on the walls inside the house. Pretty exciting. And so that's what we're going to be working on. And now there should be some videos coming out on that because this is obviously going to take a while to do all of this. All right, we finished the first wall, sheetrock. Um, had a few boo boos, of course, as we always do. Um, we forgot to cut up one of the outlets and we figured it out pretty quick got it cut out uh we had some pretty gross uh errors <laughs> so we're gonna have to do some creative uh tape and glute mud job so that's kind of exciting we have a a wall it's cool yay us it's a good thing most of that wall will be covered with cabinets. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully it's smooth enough that the cabinets will stay on it. Yeah. You know. Those are. Sheetrock. I'm pretty whooped right now. It's not, it's not, it's not very energetic. It's good on that. Uh, so we got all this uh, wall done here. Um, we got this little short wall done. And then, and then down this side of the hallway. We got this down to here. And then there's some nailer boards that we got to put up in some inside corners of some of these rooms so I didn't want to get all trapped and not be able to do that. So we we went to doing the vault and see it. That's not any fun. I'll just say that. It's just, it's hard. Um, but you can see that there's a little sliver in there, but I don't care. It's what tape and mud's for. So, we have one more little piece right there on this wall because that's where the TV's gonna go. We're making a channel for the cords to go down. We're gonna make a little, cut some out, some of this foam out, and we're gonna put a little two inch PVC that's gonna have a 90 on each side so that you can feed the power cables or the HDMI cables from a DVD player to the TV or whatever. And it's inside the wall, you can't see it. 
it's a, it's a great plan. Just don't have all the parts I need. So, so that's why that's not good. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that tomorrow. Cut this out and put that in there. And then we'll sheet rock over it. And then we'll continue on. But it's been it's a productive day. It's been very productive. And I'm tired. I'm ready for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Steph was explaining uh, the other day about why this is not cheap rock yet. And this is the reason I finally got it installed today. This is our, um, our cord. Oh, what do they call them? Channel? Channels. Yeah, cord channel. And they call them, they can put them on the outside of the wall and they call them... Um, Something else. <laughs> so anyway, this is basically because there's going to be a, a, a fireplace with an electric fireplace, not a real fireplace. Then we'll build out, and then right here will be a hearth, and then there'll be a false front on the hearth that will actually have things like DVD players in it. And so then this is obviously for the flat screen TV. And so ultimately, what we'll do to run uh, like HDMI cord to the DVD player. Uh, or anything like that, uh, what we'll do is, well, I'm just using this, let's pretend this is electric cord. And you just put it in there, and you just run it down, and there's your HDMI cord coming out to your DVD player. And then all this will be sheet rocked over, so it'll be completely hidden, you won't see any, any cables running at all, which is very important to Stephanie. Yes. So there you go. So that's why I had to do that, because it was important to her. <laughs> Well, I got a longer list then if you're ready to no, tackle that. No, 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 that's good. I'm good. I'm, I got stuff to do. <laughs> Not to edit that. Heading upstairs, we've got uh, vaulted ceilings all sheetrocked, and this is uh, the stairs. This is Brooker's bathroom. A corner shower there. Sink over here. This is Stephanie's office. This is Brooker's desk area. Uh, it's built-in bed on this side. Too bad on that side. And his closet. And he has 
Well, this city is awesome. It is wonderful. Here is done. We still have that front wall upstairs to, to finish on. We gotta do the underside of the catwalk. Gotta shoot rock that. Uh, we have to shoot rock on the walls of the kitchen and then up top. Um, so the living room is pretty close done. We finished the shoot rock on the hallway today. We didn't do the ceiling yet because we gotta run some AC lines. And after we run those AC lines, then I can do the ceiling. This is that uh, Emory's room, it's just one of the last rooms that we're gonna shoot rock because all of this, all these, these are electric cables that go to breakers on the breaker box on the outside of the house. This is the master bedroom and it's done. Master closet, closet, and then we have bathroom, master bathroom, stove outs for sink, and we have shower, and stove outs for the shower. And this is going to have shelves in it, it's, uh, it's about, oh, I don't know, 18 inches wide, 15 inches wide, or whatever, it'll be like a linen, linen shelves or, or what have you, right there. And the one thing that we are somewhat <laughs> finished on we finished this room although it doesn't have lights in it yet uh, we've got our hot water heater installed um, this is all the the plumbing manifolds that we put in before we started sheetrocking obviously and this is probably the best part right here which is the uh this one actually has lights nice recessed lighting and a great fan over there in the corner and we have amazing washer and dryer Yay! So this room is pretty finished as far as all the electricals hooked up, all the plumbing is hooked up. And this little pink chair is will be the pantry when we get shelves up in it someday. But uh, yeah, this is this is a real joy to be able to do laundry here at the ranch and not have to go to the laundry. Oh, thanks for checking out the update and I promise not to wait so long for the next video. <laughs> anyway, thanks for checking in. God bless. See you later.